What's up everybody? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, share with your friend, and make sure you throw a comment down there. I answer all my comments, so whatever questions you all have, just throw them down there. Now, before I get to this review, I just want to say that I'm not up here to bash any companies or anything like that. I just am being giving my honest opinion and I have to be honest with all my subscribers that's why they watch the videos so that being said I have a review for you guys it's from Beard Mountain Trading Company and they did send me a little note it says thanks and enjoy Brian Tim So I want to thank Tim for sending over a few products. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate him sending over the products, but I have to be honest in my reviews. He did send me over a couple stickers. Everybody knows I like the stickers, and these are cool stickers. Thank you for the stickers. So... Sometimes these reviews are hard for me, and this is one that's kind of hard for me. So, he sent me over an ounce bottle of beard oil in a clear bottle, which is unusual for beard oil to be coming in a clear bottle. But it does have the standard dropper, and it does have a pretty good yellow tint to it, and it is a very thin oil. See that I'll get to before I get to anything else I'll give you the ingredients for this now keep in mind in my opinion this is only my opinion that there's way too many ingredients in this beard oil but that's my opinion so I'll get to the ingredients which are jojoba oil grapeseed oil argon oil peppermint bergamot rosemary pine lemon cedarwood and thyme all that in this little beard oil now there's good stuff in this beard oil i will give beard mountain that but the only problem i have with this beard oil is when i put it in for the first time it burnt my eyes because the lemon and the peppermint are overbearing. It's just too much for me. So if I had any advice for this company, I would tell them to ease back on the peppermint and the lemon so it's not so strong that it will burn your eyes when you put it in. Other than that, I like the beard oil. I really do. It's nice. It softens up the beard really nice. It's just the scent is overbearing. It's just way too much, in my opinion. So, for the oil, the oil, I can't really rate it because I don't even want to put it in my beard because it's so strong. The scent is just so strong. But it's good stuff. If they would just ease back on the scent. So, I don't really want to rate it in any stars or anything like that because it's just so strong so then the other thing they sent me is a two ounce it says beard polish but I did look on their website and it is supposed to be beard bomb I mean I really like their packaging on this with the tin it's nice labeling the only thing I don't like about this is there's no ingredients on the back. But I did go to their website and look at the ingredient list, which is shea butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and argon oil. Which, all good stuff, guys, in this. But this is the first time I've ever had a beer bomb like this. You see that? It's like a tan color, but... It's as hard as wax. 
Watch. See how hard that is? And that's all that come out. It's like a wax. I've never had a beard bomb like that. I mean, look at it. That. That's wax. It's like wax right there. And it takes forever to mount to um, melt down in your hands. It takes just like wax. It takes a while. Now, if this is beard wax, I wish they would not say it is beard bomb. Cause I, in a year or so, I've been growing my beard. I have never had a beard bomb that was that hard to get out. I mean, once it gets melted down, it does a nice job in your beard. It's just really hard. So, I can't really rate that either. I mean, it's good stuff in here. It's just really hard to get out. For a beard bomb. That is. So, them two, I can't really rate for you guys. They sent me two more things, which... This is a mustache wax, and y'all know I don't use mustache wax that much, but I did try this stuff. This one has shea butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, mint, rosemary, bergamot, pine, lemon, cedarwood, and thyme. And like I said, it's like there's so many things in here, it's overkill. Is a good wax. It's just that scent is just so strong lingering under your nose for a mustache wax. It really is. But it is a good wax and it holds. I just can't stand that smell under my nose all day. And like I said, these are my opinions. I don't want to bash Beard Mountain because they have good stuff in their products. It's just too the scent is just too strong for me now the thing that they sent me that i really really like now i really like this it's another mustache wax but it's in this cool little thing here and this is an unscented one so this is great for me i love this one beard mountain i really do and it has the same good stuff Shea butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, argon. And that's it because it is unscented. But it screws off like this. And you just push it up like this. And then scrape what you need off of it. Like that. And just melt it down in your hands. It melts down really nice. And it does go right in there. And it will hold. Cause I have used a little bit of this so for this one I, I definitely recommend you guys get this because it's a nice mustache wax and you get a lot of it as much as I don't use it that much so this will last me forever so I definitely recommend the mustache wax the unscented mustache wax as for the other things I can't really rate them because the scent was just too strong for my, for me. I mean, it might be good for other people that like stronger scents, but I don't like the scents in my beer to be really overpowering, and that's the only problem I have with the oil and the must that this mustache wax. And the only problem I have with this is it's labeled beard bomb, but it's hard, like. Be, like beard wax in my opinion so if you guys want to check beard mountain out I will put the link in the description but as far if you want if you don't want an overbearing scent I would not recommend it maybe their unscented would be better so until next time guys later